Hello welcome back to tutorial made simple channel. In this video we will learn how to build the simplest Android app, Hello World. Using latest version of Android Studio, it's a great place to start making Android apps, but before we start, I want to check first if Android Studio is up to date, secondly, I will also modify the appearance. Click this and select the SDK manager. We need to ensure the SDK and Android Studio are up to date. Click this to check Android Studio updates. Make sure both ID and plugin checkbox are checked. Click on check updates. Looks good. I have the latest Android Studio and plugin. You can install this toolbox app to get updates automatically. Next I will change the appearance. I am selecting IntelliJ Lite as my theme and then click OK. Next. Let us proceed to write a simple Android application which will print Hello World. Let's click on this new project button. Select this empty activity. Let's name it my Hello app. This package name is like a domain name in reverse order. If you are going to publish this app to Android Studio this package name have to be unique. Select the language as Java, and minimum SDK API 26. Click Finish. It's loading. You have to be patient at this step and wait until it's finished. It's still loading. But we can see the main activity code that is the default code generated by the application wizard. This code is a Java file. This is the actual application file which ultimately gets converted to a Dalvik executable and runs your application. The loading is completed. Now we can see on the left side the anatomy of Android application. This Android manifest.xml is the manifest file which describes the fundamental characteristics of the application and defines each of its components. The activity underscore main.xml is a layout file. It is available in Ray's slash layout directory. That is referenced by your application when building its interface. You will modify this file very frequently to change the layout of your application. We will modify this file later in this video. You can click this tab to view code only. Split to see both code and design or click on design to see design only. For example, I will add an exclamation point at the end of the sentence Hello Woolard. You can do this by directly editing the XML file or changing the text attributes here. We can see that the XML file is also updated with the change. Next, I will enlarge the text size by directly edit the activity underscore main XML file. I will add a background. For this I have prepare a file. Just copy this file. And then paste it here in drawable folder. Let's add the background. The background is added. Now let's change the text color to white.
Actually, you can change the text view attribute here, but I prefer to directly edit the XML file. Next, let's set the text style to bold. Okay, we have modified the default Hello World app. Now it's time to test it. Just click the device manager. You can see I have both virtual and physical device. But for this time I will target the physical device in this case Samsung running on Android 11. To run just click this green play button. We can see a message at bottom right, that the Gradle build is running, we have to wait until it's finished. Ok, the Gradle invocation finished with zero error. Great, our Hello World app successfully run on my Android phone. To summarize, this code represents the main activity of an Android app. When the app is launched, this activity is created, and the onCreate method is called. The activity sets its layout based on the activity underscore main.xml file, which defines how the user interface should look. Okay, I think we can conclude this video. I hope you have learned from this video. In the next video we will create a simple user login application. Thank you for watching, see you soon.